In this video, I'm going to show you this gun tight defense that I really like out of the Nickel 3-3 Cub. If you want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll put a link in the description to that. That'll be below. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the 3-3 Cub. We actually just dropped a brand new defensive e or offensive ebook in there today as well. The Cincinnati uh, playbook, tight slots, halfback week. So if you want to check all that stuff out, that is going to be linked down in the description. All right, guys, so I wanted to just walk you through this new defense that I've been running against Gun Tight to kind of counter some of the popular combos. Uh, it's equal 3-3 Cub, and the coverage is Cover 4, Show 2. Now, on your coaching adjustments, you should make sure your zone coverage is set to match. If you're on current gen and you don't have that option, then just leave it on default, okay? Uh, the setup is really simple. All we're going to do, when you notice, if you take a look here, um, all we're going to do is we're going to press, we're going to blitz our user, and then we are going to put both of our linebackers into hard flats. We're, go we're going to then take our nickel corner, put them on a vertical hook, and then we're going to outside third the uh, corner that is opposite of the running back. And then we're going to middle third the safety that is opposite of the running back, just like this. This is pretty much the setup, and this is really good against a lot of things that people are going to do against you. All your job is is basically just lurk down in here. You're going to notice your match coverage is going to play really, really, really well. Now, basically what we're doing here is we're kind of building a bracketed coverage on the left side for any corner routes or on the right side for any corner routes. And then on the left side, if they run, like let's say they run uh, bench and they try to flood us to this side, what you'll notice is this vertical hook will essentially match any kind of deep flood concept to the left side, as you can see right here. Now, I personally think that match coverage is probably the best way to play defense right now. Maybe man coverage is still really the best, but I just feel like match coverage, if you can learn how to adjust out of it, it is really, really, really good. Now, as you saw there, the, we're able to stop the flood concepts to the left. We're also able within this defense to stop the flood concepts to the right because of the fact that this is match coverage. So we're going to get a box check to the right. And what you're going to notice here is if they try to run any kind of uh, concept that way, then we're going to bag that as well. So what this does and what I like about cover four show two and really cover four quarter defense in general is it creates um, essentially a box in one zone defense around uh, some of the things that you're going to you're going to see. Now, I also want to give you a blitz uh, whether you can run with this as well. So let's say that there let's say that you want to send some pressure, right? And you want to run this defense. What you're going to do is you're going to go down to cover four show two. You're just going to blitz your linebackers, and then really really important what we're going to do here is opposite of the running back side, which in this example, that would be to the right side now. We're going to put that cornerback on a outside third. We're going to put this other cornerback on an inside third. And then really what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the flat zone uh, basically ourselves. So we're going to have a hard flat here, and then we're going to use her the right side uh, and essentially run to the right and snap the ball, try to get that pressure quick, and try to make them make a guess read either to the flat to that side or over the middle of the field. Now, another way that you could also run um, a simple pressure out of this is in this example here where you've got the running back kind of on this side now and you have your, your coverage really is, is more what it should be. Then what I would recommend doing here is we're going to run that cover three just like that, and then we're going to play that hard flat over there on that left side. And then on the right side, you can either leave it like this, or what you can also do is you can put a deep half and a hard flat just like this right here. So super simple, going to get some quick pressure, and you're just trying to basically lurk one quick read and force them to throw the ball quick. Now, when you mix this in with the fact that you know your cover four show two defense is your base, and that is a drop eight coverage, it really mixes in the pressure well. This is going to do a really good job also against PA cross. You'll notice PA cross, it's normally able to bomb match coverage because we put that middle third there. It's just not going to work. If you want to learn more about the nickel 3-3 cup defense and exactly how I run it, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So head down to the Patreon and go check out the uh, Patreon page.